Well, it's been a crazy week for your boy. Uh, we've been working really hard. Me and my wife, Tiffany, been working really hard on her business this week. So, you know, I've been gone for a while. Um, like I said, I just want to let you guys know so that we are still doing the podcast. She started her baking business, her bakery business, and I wanted to be there to help her, not with only what she needed, but, you know, to help coach her along the way because we also run a business over here as well. So I figured that it would be, it wouldn't be right if I was to run some type of business and I couldn't share what I learned with her. Now, I'm not saying I'm perfect or anything like that, but in some type of way, I can, I can provide some shortcuts or some ways to help her. So we've been really busy. She's been doing very well. I'm so proud of her. The name of her business is Three three sheets to the wind bakery so i just wanted to let you guys you know know about that but that has nothing to do with the show over the weekend right first of all let me tell you that my heart is hurting (laughs) my heart is hurting because my damn new york giants are killing me all over inside and it's not even like the last game they played against the eagles just like it, it really opened my eyes you know for those of us out there who are fans of the team there's a lot of blame to be going around um, how the team carries itself. And I know that out there, there's a lot of people calling again for Eli Manning's job. So I don't get too much into sports over here, guys, but I'll let you know right now that at this stage, I would not mind seeing a change in the quarterback quarterback position and seeing what we got in our rookie quarterback, um, Luetta. And that is my take for it this week. So that's, that's as far as I can go without having to bust out a damn drink. <laughs> So anyway, how you guys doing? How's your week been? How's your team doing? Um, if you guys watch the NFL, that would be cool to find out what's going on there. So I sent off an email to the people that are on my list. Um, shout out to those who are on my email list. If you're not, message me so we can add you. Where I talk about helping my wife. And so I talk about those guys who are in relationships um, or with a partner or whatever the heck you know you guys are into. And... I ask us uh, one question, right? What are the defining factors in a relationship to you? And I posed that question in my email because I wanted to ask, um, I wanted to ask and get different opinions, insights, because you guys' opinion is important. I think it's cool. And if you do answer that, I would be able to um, put on a podcast, but only if you're um, okay with that, if you let me know. But I also wanted to provide my answers as well. And for a man especially one like me, (laughs) the defining factors in a relationship that make a great relationship is trust and time. Defining factors, trust and time. Like you can have a cute girlfriend. You can have a a beautiful wife. You know, that's, that's one thing you weren't, you weren't going to marry, get married to them unless you found them physically attractive in some kind of way. So we're not talking about that. You can have the cutest girl in the world, biggest booty, whatever, cutest, thick, full lips. Uh, maybe she's small. Maybe you like girls that are thicker. Maybe you like girls that are smaller, whatever the case may be. It's you. This girl is your girl. Or maybe if not, you're thinking about getting this girl. If you can't trust a word that come out of her mouth or you can't trust her actions because what she's saying, what she do are two different things. You don't have a relationship. I'm sorry. You don't have a relationship. You're on borrowed time, buddy. That's the way I feel. That's why, uh, to me, trust is like a defining uh, factor in a great relationship. The other thing I talk about is time. Paul, oh, time, time. People are so cool with things that are new. Guys love watching porn. You know why? Because porn provides new visuals every single time. The guy, the guy that you're watching is now banging this new chick, or this same chick is bang is trying a different position or something like that, right? So we 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 don't worry about time or we don't value it as much because we always get new stuff and nothing better than uh, something brand spanking new to get over something that's old, right? Which is why some guys always have a long-term girlfriend or wife, but they always keep some little chick on the side. I think that that's a defining factor because in time, you get to not only understand that person um, as far as what they like, you know, what they like, what they don't like, they get to understand you, what you don't like and what you do like. And they allow you to grow as a person. As time goes by, you you truly become um, a deeper version of yourself. You become a uh, a more aware version of yourself. So you might be into different things growing up. And when you get older, you're into different things. And a person who gives you enough time in order to develop is going to, uh, they're letting you know through their actions that you're worth it. Okay, 
there's nothing like being with somebody who puts in the time to see you through not only the good, but through the bad, not through just the bad, but the ugly. Spending time with somebody is hard. That's hard work. When you want something new, you know, it's <laughs> it's so easy. Like, you know, you can have dinner prepared or something like that at home, and maybe you're not feeling what's, what's made for dinner. You want something quick. Like, you know, you want like a pizza, a burger, a barbecue or something like that. First of all, you're silly as hell, but I understand. If you spend time to slow down and appreciate what you have, that which what you appreciate will learn to appreciate you and what you're about and what you stand for and what you're going for. And I've personal, personal experience, you guys, spending time with someone will pay you back dividends. If you spend time on your basketball skills, you will become a basketball, a better basketball player. If you spend time putting money in your bank account, you will have a bigger bank account. If you spend time uh, reading books, you will learn new vocabulary words and deeper understandings as far as different circumstances and conversations go. So in that regard, why wouldn't time provide the same uh, return on investment in your relationship as every other area. To me, trust and time are the de defining factors in a great relationship. So that is my take for today, you guys. I wanna share that with you. Be sure to applaud, share, like, subscribe, and um, send this episode to those who you think may need to hear it. As always, I wanna thank you guys for being here, and I'm gonna check you out next time. Like I said, if you aren't already on the email list, hit me up and I can add you guys. It's nothing. We add a we add a one once a week weekly newsletter that has all of our content and what's going on with the with the podcast and what's going on with everything else inside of Lock Pop every week. All right, you guys have a safe night and I will talk to you tomorrow.